Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. This week's reading is on who will find you this year, and it is 18 plus. So if you aren't 18, please click out of this video and feel free to find another video to watch instead. So we are going to be looking at who they are, what they look like, why they're coming into your life, and what your relationship will be like together. And this is within this year, so this person will be coming in within a year of you finding this video. We have four piles to choose from, pile one, two, three, and four. Feel free to choose your pile based off of the crystal or the pile. And then once you've made your decision, you can fast forward to the timestamp in the description box below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, we will start with pile one. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading for all of you who chose this first pile with the celestite stone. Let's see, who is coming in? Who is going to find you within this coming year? So we're just going to take a look at who this person is. We have the Hanged Man. The Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, as well as the Tower. All right, so we actually have quite a bit of water in these cups cards and the hanged man so your person might be a water sign or they could have strong characteristics um, and be very in tune with their emotions i think that's actually one of the first things you'll notice about this person is that they're very secure in how they feel about themselves about who they want to be and they're very in touch with their emotions as well and maybe with your emotions too. They could be pretty intuitive, naturally. This tower card is interesting, coming out last. You could meet this person actually closer to the end of the year. I do see there being some kind of longer duration of time before you get to know this person. It could also be that it takes a while for them to open up, especially if they are on the shyer side. But I do have a feeling like they will approach you or they will make the first move with this Knight of Cups. What it could be is that maybe if you meet this person, there could be some amount of time in between when you meet them versus when you actually go out with them. <laughs> which represents this hanged man phase where you might be in a bit of a flux or unsure of forming an opinion of them. You might not know what they think <laughs> or just be hesitant to make up your own mind surrounding this. Another thing about your person is that they're very well balanced. We have both the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So there's kind of um, this evening out of their more action-driven side, that, that side that's very creative and that wants to set out to do things as opposed to this more emotional, kind of sentimental side that they have. I think actually both of these queens tend to be very creative though, so your person could have a hobby in the arts. They could naturally be talented in I don't know why I wanted to say sewing for a second, um, but maybe painting or playing an instrument. But I do see them taking a while to open up 
or for you to get to know them at first, okay? It could be that they're in your life, but you don't actually talk to them. Either way, there does seem to be some kind of window between when you meet them versus actually meeting them, if that makes sense. And this tower coming in at the end could be, you know, once you guys get going, if things really take off from there. It could also be that your person comes in later on in the year, as I think I mentioned that too. And again, both of these queens, another thing that that indicates is that your person could be very well connected. They could have a lot of power or influence. It can also be leadership qualities too that your person exhibits. But these are very powerful energies. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have Dance of the Planets and Loving All That Is. Okay. So you could meet them during an auspicious celestial event. Whenever I think of Dance of the Planets, it has more to do with planetary alignments and the natural rhythms and flows of the universe, okay? So, and we also have the moon in Loving All That Is, which may be the full moon, around the time of a full moon, an eclipse. You could literally meet them at a dance, though. I think this person, though, has a way of putting you at ease or making you feel very calm. They're very slow moving and because they're more intuitively inclined or connected to their feelings, they're also going to put you into that place as well and connect with you more so on that level, I think. But I love seeing this card because that means that your person is really going to have a way of illuminating you or putting that, that light onto you and making you feel loved and really giving back a lot. So that's one of the things as well as, that might feel very new for you or just refreshing. Could be having this person dote on you a little bit. I think giving you a lot of time and really making that effort to be sure that you're feeling good. So this person would never want to do anything that would make you uncomfortable or that would take away your power in any way. They're all about having an equal distribution of power in a relationship, which is good, and making sure that your needs are met, of course. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. Let's pull some physical characteristics. What does Pile One's person look like? Can we get some physical characteristics? Ooh, these two. Ooh, we have dimples and traditional. Let's see if we can get one more. I do think that they have a very cute smile. Very playful. And also calming too. Whoa, okay. And then we also have scars. This is an interesting one whenever it comes out because scars... They're not always a physical characteristic. They, they can also be emotional or mental as well. But maybe this person had some prominent, has some prominent scars on their body or some kind of badge of <laughs> war I'm almost seeing. But they, it's like they carry it with pride. They carry it very well and you won't even notice necessarily that it is a scar or that it's a weakness because 
this person again seeing that they have these multiple queens they have a sense of carrying themselves with integrity and and pride they're very confident and sure of themselves all right let's pull you guys some sexual magic tarot let's see what <laughs> we can get any details on your relationship together okay we have the six of wands <laughs> The Knight of Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, we have the Knight of Cups again. So this person is very romantic. Again, I do see them really showering you with attention, gifts, a lot of time. I could see this person wanting to take you on dates that last for hours, if not whole days. Like, do you have a whole day off? And this person is very patient with you too. They're not gonna rush into things. I think that's obvious just because of their nature. They take their time. So obviously, in relationships, they are going to utilize that same approach as well. And then we also have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so six is a number of balance. It's also associated with Venus, too. So it, it's compassionate, um... I think this person is very much concerned with there being a sense of equality in their relationships and harmony so that no one is uncomfortable or not wanting to be there. I think you'll have actually a very fun time with this person because they are very concerned with your comfort and actually making you feel at ease, which will be very nice. Okay, we also have the Ten of Swords. Okay, both of these women have <laughs> their upper body exposed. This person, they definitely like your top half. I think they're a bit playful in the bedroom though, so... Yeah, the, um, they might be a bit reserved on the surface, but I think they're not shy in their lovemaking style because they are this Knight of Cups, so they will pursue you. They will be the one to make the first move. Another thing that this person likes about you is if you're tall, they really love your legs. But even if you're not tall, they still really love your legs. Your legs, um, your upper half, they find you very seductive, actually. And I think this person could spend all day or night just doting on you. It's almost distracting, though. I feel like this person, when they're around you, they have trouble focusing on other stuff that they have to do. Or maybe they, because... They're so invested and they're really wanting to please you. It can be where they might neglect other things at certain points. So, so that is something to watch out for with this person. Another interesting message is that this person could be a bit voyeuristic. They could like watching you do things or do things for them. This person could paint you. I, I don't know what it is but it all it almost seems as though not just in the bedroom but also when you guys are together as though this person because they're very observant and naturally um artistic i think in the way that they perceive the world they could just like watching you talk about things that you're passionate about or watching you do things that you're very inspired by but there is sort of that element of this person kind of watching you <laughs> or um, just really admiring you in your natural ways. Okay, so I want to pull you guys some love messages. What's this one? Okay, so we have Only Time Will Tell. 
you might not be in a relationship forever with this person. Um, I think they are very important to you though. This is someone who's very caring and I could totally see this turning into a long-term relationship or commitment. But I think when this card comes out, only time will tell. I think it's just about how, you know, if you guys want it to work, if you are committed, then it will work. Then it will be a success. It's just really on you two to really go there <laughs> with each other. And also honest communication, I think, too. Okay, this is too many. Let's get one more. And then we also have Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. I love this card. This also reminds me of the loving all that is. So I think you're going to love everything about this relationship, this person. It does have that very kind of perfect quality to it. Not where it's like a fantasy, but it just works out, I think, a lot of the time for you guys. Maybe you have very good luck when you're together, or you guys could be very similar and have similar interests that make it easier to be in this deep, committed relationship. Okay, so I just had to take a moment to pull out this deck. This is the Love Angels Oracle want to pull you guys a few more messages. I think with this connection, it does seem to be more about the emotional side of things and you guys connecting on a deep level. I think you guys will also have a lot in common, many similarities that make it work and just have an easier flow, okay? But also there's a lot of attraction, especially this on this person's end, I think. Um, okay, so we have forgiving and learning. You guys will definitely learn a lot from each other. We also have religious factors as well. So both of these are going to kind of influence the way that this relationship plays out. I think especially at the beginning, maybe this person holding back because they could be more conservative or their religion could call for that. I think they are also very spiritual though in general. So even if it's not religion, I think this person still has a way of just not rushing into things and making sure that it feels right and that it's in alignment with their highest ideals and morals. And of course, forgiving and learning, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so this card deals with the theme of letting go, letting go of past hurts or past patterns in relationships. So that is something that you guys will be learning as well in this relationship is how to integrate new patterns and not fall back on things that or ways of doing things that have worked in other relationships because even though this relationship you guys will come together very easily and have a a great flow obviously no relationship is perfect and i think one of the things will be figuring out how to incorporate new and exciting ways of doing things and, and making sure that this there's still time for this relationship because again I think both of you guys will be so enamored with each other especially at first once you do get into a relationship it's like how with this tower card things will just take off or dramatically change I think once this enters that next level but yeah, this this will be a process for you guys once once you get into an actual relationship, but also before, you know, getting to know each other and getting to know what makes you guys tick. 
right? So let's also see if we can get this person's sign. We will take the top three. Pile one. Who will find them? Okay, so we have Aquarius. Virgo. And Libra. So heavy air energy. I think this person is very intellectual. All right, and then we also have Mercury, Leo, and 7th house for the relationship. Makes sense, 7th house is actually the house that rules relationships. It's also a house of balance. It, it traditionally rules Libra. So, yeah, and we also got Libra energy too. So, that does seem to be a major kind of energy in this relationship, I think, or just the way that it forms and how it progresses because there's this balance and it's kind of you guys figuring out how to balance such a relationship, the re kind of relationship that you guys want, which is a big, <laughs> you know, a big deal. I think with this Leo energy, Leo, when it comes to romantic matters, is not about to do things small. Um, this is a very, like, passionate, deep relationship that you guys will have. I think also physically, too, it will be very intense. So I think it's just about figuring out how to balance the different elements of this relationship and, you know, keep things fresh, exciting, and also make sure that you have room for the other stuff in your life as well so that nothing becomes too over consuming and then lastly with mercury i think communication will also be a big factor in this relationship so really voicing your needs as well i think your person will be very receptive to that and appreciate you telling them the truth even if it's something that may seem awkward or uncomfortable, especially at first, um, they'll appreciate that uh, because it will give them clarity and, you know, they'd rather you tell them something even if it seems uncomfortable as opposed to them being left to have to guess or figure it out because then they're just left unsure, okay? So they like making sure of things, especially when it comes to romantic matters. And yeah, overall, I would say this just seems to be a really exciting, but also stable relationship too. This person, they're very calming, or at least that's the effect that they have on you. I think they're going to bring a lot of stability and peace into your life and a lot of very beautiful emotions as well with the sacred union card. I think this is a relationship that can definitely stand the test of time if you both are willing to really make that step in commitment. So yeah, I will leave this pile here for now. I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome and I will see you guys later. Hey Pile 2, welcome to your reading. For those of you who chose the yellow topaz, or the lemon topaz, let's see who will find you this year. Within a year of you watching this, we're going to start off with your tarot and see who this person is. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Ooh, we have the Fountain. This is the Fountain Tarot, by the way. <laughs> the Six of Coins, as well as the Hermit. Wow. Okay, so you can see in the Six of Swords this couple in a boat venturing off. So your person could 
reside in a different country, they could be a foreigner. <laughs> um, you might have to actually journey an actual physical distance or a figurative distance to find this person, or rather for them to find you. You're very close actually to meeting them with this fountain card. This is the card I associate it with the veil or being on the edge of another world and it's really about oneness. I think actually this year for you will be a very powerful year because the fountain isn't just about, I think when it comes out it is an indicator of awakening, spiritual awakening, quietude, listening. That's the thing, the way you're going to meet this person isn't through isn't going to be during a time when you're doing a lot of action and a lot is happening. I think it's going to be during a period where you're actually maybe taking a time out and resting, perhaps on a park bench or somewhere that is quiet to you and really listening to yourself, listening to what your needs are, your emotions as well. And you're not distracted with everyday or, you know, mundane things. That's when you're going to encounter this person at first. And it seems very faded, actually. But I would wager that this year for you in general, seeing this, this spread, that you could have a lot of faded moments regardless of this person. And this could be a pivotal point in your life as well. Maybe you are on the verge of starting something new, taking a big leap, um, actually moving somewhere, perhaps. Whatever it is, though, I see you guys kind of letting go or dropping self-limiting beliefs or perceptions, okay? The fountain also being in the middle of the spread could mean that you meet this person in the middle of the year or just around a major event. So if you have a major event happening also in the middle of the year um, or at some point, then that could also be a time when this person makes themselves known to you or when you encounter them. Something that's interesting with the Hermit, I kind of see this card actually as your person. They could be from a very cold place. They could have grown up in a place where there's snow or that's dark a lot of the time of the year. Or that could just be their personality. Maybe they tend to be closed off or they have a very hard outer shell that you have to crack through. But they definitely are more reserved, so I think it will it will take you to also to, to put yourself out there, not, you know, necessarily make the first move, but to be present and open-minded at first, okay? Especially when meeting this person, if they are very different from you. Okay, let's see what other cards we have. We have the light field as well as the Mother Praise. Okay, so the Mother Praise is encouraging you to take risks, okay? The Mother Praise, not because she's worried you'll do something wrong, but because she wants, she's worried you won't do anything at all, okay? So I think also that applies to this year. I don't know why, but for this pile in particular, I am getting the message that this is going to be a whole year-long journey of things happening to you and deep growth, all right? So this is definitely a time for you guys to take risks. That might be how you meet this person again if you venture out somewhere beyond your comfort zone, quite literally. Um, this person will be drawn to that, I think. And this light field card, what's interesting about this is I'm almost getting your field of vision or view, uh, light coming into that and the darkness lifting. So 
that also talks about enlightenment and spiritual awakening, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing the light in life and the good, that is definitely something that your person will bring into your life too, I think, is a higher perspective. But I'm also getting that this is needed in order for them to come find you in the first place, okay? So again, just being open-minded, being in a place of quietude and receptivity and listening for what's to come, okay? But yeah, I think a, a theme that's emerging here so far has to do with perception, especially how you perceive the world and being okay with being wrong or having your perceptions or beliefs challenged, okay? So let's get into the fun part and see if we can get some physical characteristics. What does Pile 2's person look like? Ooh, all right, we have hazel eyes, brown eyes, sexy, and smiling. Cool, okay, so yeah, brownish eyes, your person is sexy, or you will find them sexy depending on maybe if they're your type or not, maybe they're not your type, but you still find them sexy. We also have smiling too, ooh, they love your smile, okay, I know this is supposed to be about them, but I definitely got that very strongly. They could have very nice teeth as well. Maybe it's that this person doesn't smile that often, but when they do, like, you have a way of making them laugh or smile that's very cute. You have a way of livening them up or opening them up um, to you, which may might <laughs> be pretty funny, actually. But yeah, that's kind of what's cute about you getting to know them, I think, is it it's like this dynamic. Maybe it's on your end or their end, but getting the other person out of their comfort zone and expanding their their awareness of the world, right? Let's also get you guys some romantic oracle cards. Romance messages. Pile 2. Oh, okay, so we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yeah, this person will come to you, so don't worry about whether or not you're doing anything wrong. You're not, okay? Just allow. Just allow and relax. And I think, again, you guys will come together through a faded encounter or just that this year for you has a lot of that kind of energy so don't worry about it if if this isn't if this person doesn't come in straight away that doesn't mean they're not coming in it just means that this energy hasn't built up yet enough because I again this fountain card represents that bridge between you guys entering into not just a new chapter but being on the verge of accessing a higher part of yourself, too. Okay, so we also have don't make decisions. <laughs> okay, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah, so definitely be true. Um, don't be afraid of what this person will think of you or what people will think of you in general. The best thing you can do is be yourself. Especially when you're put in scenarios where you're being tested or challenged. If people are challenging what you say or criticizing you even, the best thing you can do is fall back on what you know and what you feel comfortable with. 
And then we also have reflection. It says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, so this is similar to this weight card. Allow nature to take its course. Trust and have faith that it will work out for the best. So yeah, I think a big part of this learning process of this person coming in and you getting to know them will be learning to trust each other and especially trust that they think highly of you. Maybe you're a bit at first worried that they don't like you or that they aren't interested in you romantically. But don't worry. The thing is, have faith that they're going to open up to you. That's what it is. Um, or vice versa, you know, just... I think on both ends, this person, a lot of the concerns or things that um, even doubts or worries that you have could also be a reflection of what this person also is going through too. So just be aware of that if you are worried, <laughs> okay? This person probably is in the same boat, quite literally. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some sexual magic tarot for you guys. What will this relationship look like in the bedroom? <laughs> oh, okay, so we have the Knave of Chalices. Interesting. Let's see what else we have. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, very close and romantic. I almost get that this person will be very protective of you. They might actually be a, a bit prone to jealousy or maybe initially if they're getting mixed signals or they're not really sure, maybe they're jumping to assumptions um, or maybe you are. <laughs> Whatever it is though, I think this person will be very protective of you. And also this relationship. That's the thing. It might seem, especially if they appear to be a bit guarded at first, it might just be that they are being protective of their feelings, okay? So again, there's this sort there's this theme of just not rushing into things or not jumping to conclusions. And then we have the Two of Cups, as well as the King of Wands. Ooh, spicy. Okay, so <laughs> I think in the bedroom, I think actually there will be a lot of foreplay. There seems to be this big buildup, again, to you guys actually... I don't know if it's getting into a relationship or getting to know one another and also because you need to build up that trust as well but this person is very sweet with you I think their love style is actually very much more caressing and very gentle as opposed to rough or very fast okay so I think <laughs> um I think also they will adjust to you. This person is very f flexible and adaptable in the bedroom, so that won't really be much of an issue. I think it's really just about getting you guys to trust one another at first and open up, but once you do, this will come naturally. The, the bedroom, the lovemaking, it will seem like second nature. <laughs> I also feel like you guys will spend a lot of time naked together. Yeah, that theme of dropping boundaries, dropping expectations will definitely be on display there. You guys will- I also see you guys just spending a lot of time in the bedroom or in the sheets together. Even if you're not actually making love uh, or going about that, I think it's really just about being vulnerable with each other that almost seems to be what gets you off <laughs> or what gets this person off is just being with one another in a very vulnerable and intimate setting okay but yeah this is this is right up your guys's alley though i feel like because 
it's not so much about the it's more spiritual and intimate um as opposed to the physical grittiness of sex itself so i think this fits more with where you're going this year and with what we were talking about earlier where you guys seem to be attracting higher spiritual energy and growth at this time okay so i just want to pull you guys a few more cards Ooh, okay we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy you know again it's just i think you guys physically will have a lot of chemistry even if um it takes a while to keep <laughs> for things to actually get moving and then we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world yeah there's this theme as well of quietude and you guys releasing distractions and listening in to yourself your intuition also to this person as well and kind of i don't know maybe it's just that when you're together you enter a world of your own where you're not as consumed or concerned with the mundane okay and then we also have flirt it says extend your light-hearted energy to others Ooh, i almost feel like when the kind of love and attention or not even attention but how good this relationship makes you feel will spread <laughs> to others so you guys feeling very good and oh just pleased or satisfied will rub off on those around you so i think that's what's beautiful and very enlightening with this relationship and what it will bring to your life is that effect that it has second-handedly on those around you in a very positive way okay lastly i want to roll the top three signs that this person could be pile two Ooh. okay so we have scorpio cancer very deep yeah <laughs> a lot of water and we also have Capricorn. Gorgeous. Okay, now let's roll them together. Okay, so for the relationship, we have 10th house, Sagittarius. Yeah, okay, Sagittarius makes sense because that is the energy of expansion, expansion of the mind. It's also a very lucky energy too. Your person could be foreign. I know I mentioned that earlier because Sag does rule foreign travel, foreign cultures, and higher learning. So you, you could also meet them through education. Maybe you're taking a class or you're learning a language and they happen to be there. Or you, you, you're on a trip, quite literally, you're at a museum. Something, some kind of Sag setting. I could really see you guys coming together. And then pluto so yeah pluto is that deep transformative effect that we've been talking about and pluto just like that fountain card it's not just about this relationship but it's about where you're at in your life with your soul development that's what's really attracting this person in and that flavor will really drive the relationship determine its potential for you with growth and just on a more serious level your journey your soul journey in this lifetime okay and then lastly the 10th house this is the house of our purpose our reputation and career maybe you guys have similar paths actually but as i said it's quite kind of auspicious or fateful that your paths cross at this time maybe you guys have a, a a similar destiny or a shared sense of purpose or something that you're trying to accomplish you could have similar goals or um yeah especially goals pertaining to the future maybe you both want a family or you have a similar vision of what you want long term which also brings you two together but yeah this is very exciting and 
also just on track I think with where you're going in this next year and the kinds of things that you can expect and look out for. So I will leave this pile here for now. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome. And I will see you guys later. Hey, pile three, welcome to your reading for all of you who chose the clear quartz point. Let's take a look at who will find you this year. Starting with your tarot, we have temperance. The King of Swords, the Eight of Coins, the Seven of Coins, as well as the Ten of Coins. <laughs> okay, quite a bit of coins, Pile 3. So, the first card we have, Temperance, is all about balance. You can see that this figure is close to the water, so maybe you could meet this person at the beach or in a very temperate setting. <laughs> I see them as the King of Swords, so they're very intelligent, actually. I think this person, they're very good at solving problems. They have a lot of goals. You can kind of see, though, with all the pentacles that we do have, that this person's strategic. They have a method and a way of doing things that's very particular. They could be a bit OCD, actually. Um, but they're also very good at communication and practical things. So maybe they're an engineer or their line of work sort of deals with solving problems or putting knowledge to a practical use or purpose. They could be a bit more sciencey or work in the sciences. I could see that. Or something involving accounting, numbers, um, building things also. You could meet them through work, actually, because I think when you guys come together, there's just a good balance. Um, I think you guys work very well together, actually. And that will be what sort of attracts this person in initially um, or what kind of brings you two together and yeah it could be working on a project perhaps on a goal you guys could actually have very similar goals maybe it's that you're going out for similar career paths or you both have many of the same kind of long-term influences or interests you could also come from similar backgrounds too, but I think there are some major similarities um, that show up off the bat that make it easier for you guys, especially to, to work together if you guys can kind of see where the other person is coming from. You guys actually, you might not be, okay, I think you have a lot in common in terms of your goals, but you could come from different um perspectives okay that's the thing with temperance it's it's balancing two energies in a way where both of them are in moderation and working together so if this person for instance they're they could be the more logical person in the relationship and you might be more practical you could be more intuitive okay or vice versa but i think you guys it's almost like you have different skill sets, but when you come together, you're able to really work off of that and bridge them together in such a way where you're actually more productive together, um, efficient, and you're able to accomplish big things together, big life projects. So if you end up in a long-term relationship, um, this person could really further your path or you could 
<laughs> to, um, you guys can kind of build a life together. That's what I'm trying to say. And also with this emphasis on coins, coins or pentacles is the suit that deals with earthly things, so earthly material objects, but also uh, value, currency, um, the things that we value, investment, as well as cultivation. That's the other thing. So this person is, is very patient. Um, they have a method and a way of doing things, not to the point of where they're rigid. I think they are open to seeing other people's perspectives and ideas and learning from that. Um, I think it's more that they're a bit OCD <laughs> or that they trust in the ways that have brought them success thus far. So they kind of stick with what they know, but they're also open at the same time. So they have that good balance, which they bring to the table. And I also see when you guys are do come together with this Ten of Pentacles, it's, again, you guys can accomplish great things together. Maybe it's that you both are equally just as ambitious, <laughs> or you, again, there's something about your goals lining up. It could, that could be why you guys are crossing paths, because you're both on the same journey towards certain goals or certain career paths, and that's how you meet. But I think work is definitely a big possibility. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have simplicity. Okay, yeah, so this is, this relationship, but also this person, they like simple things. They're not complicated. And I think that's the beauty of this relationship is that there won't be all this unnecessary other stuff that comes into it. I think it will be just down to what is essential, what makes you both very happy and pleased at the end of the day. And simplicity, yeah. It's not going to feel too complex, this relationship. It's very easy. It has all of the ingredients and elements that you want that are essential, but it doesn't need anything else. That's the thing. It doesn't need any... De both of you guys don't need much um, to be happy in a relationship, which is perfect. Both of you guys just complement each other so well. And then we also have the void as well as fire and ice. Okay, so what's interesting here that I noticed is that we have these two openings here, this void, and then fire and ice deals with opposites. So yeah, maybe both of you guys you come from very different backgrounds or you have different perspectives or skill sets to bring to the table. You could be opposites though, honestly. Um, but you complement each other. You work so well together and that creates something new. So when you come together, you can see how this space in between the cards, um, similarly to the void, it opens up this gap for something new to be explored and created. That's the thing. So this relationship, it will be very dynamic, both of you guys playing off of each other's strengths um, and being able to form a space where you can bounce ideas off of one another. And that's what's great is that this really allows for a lot of change, constant movement and growth which is really healthy. I think actually this person or the relationship itself will push you in that direction towards learning and incorporating new ideas, which will allow you to be healthier and to make better choices, okay? And also vice versa. I think you guys will just have a very positive influence on each other which is good to see. Okay, let's pull you guys some Love Oracle cards. Let's see if we can get some messages. Pile three. Ooh, okay, so we have sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred, as well as secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. 
Ooh, okay, yeah, so <laughs> this person, they could have a secret crush on you prior to you guys actually going out together, you know, getting to know one another. Um, and also sacred union. Yeah, this totally makes sense because when you guys come together again, it's like the sacred geometry. You have things just balance out and work out for both of you. Or it's just that when you come together, you bring out the best in one another. That's what it is. Because you can work really well with, a, with someone, but it's not necessarily initiating growth or change. Or, you know, there isn't always that kind of dynamic. But with this person, there definitely is, which makes all of the difference. And I think also they can tap into a deeper side of you. Um, they have a way also of, of getting you to listen. So maybe if you heard some kind of outlandish idea from someone else, you wouldn't be as receptive to it. But if you heard it from this person, you would take it seriously. <laughs> or you'd be more inc inclined to listen. So yeah, I think you'll really trust this person they are pretty honest though so they will tell you if you know what your hair looks like or what <laughs> you might not always want to hear but I think what's great about that is then you'll trust what they say because you know that they're not trying to sugarcoat things and they're really just working in your best interest they have your best interests at heart okay <laughs> Okay, so now for the fun part, let's see what they look like. <laughs> Can we get some physical characteristics? For pile three. So we have high cheekbones. We have woman and coarse hair. Okay, so yeah, um, <laughs> definitely some bone structure for both men and women who whomever you're attracting this person has very prominent bones not just in the face but i'm also getting maybe collar bones or other parts of the body um they could have very large bones or be on the taller side have a, a tall structure or no stature <laughs> excuse me um yeah you could be attracting a woman maybe they're they have some more feminine features as well traditionally feminine considered features uh we also have coarse hair so yeah i'm really thick hair probably darker hair that's what i'm seeing but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if this person just has bigger features in general like big eyes um a big mouth they could also have a very elongated neck too which is interesting but yeah. Okay, next let's see what your love life will actually look like with this person. Can we get any messages <laughs> about the bedroom? Oh my gosh, you guys, we have temperance again. Temperance is such a big theme or motif in this reading because it keeps coming up. That's just such a big thing, though, with this person. I think that's something that they really value is not just balance, but moderation. Having things being simple, not um, overindulging or having things be too extreme. Okay, so that's something that you'll actually really appreciate about this person is that they're very moderate. Maybe it's that they are um, literally sticking to temperance as in maybe they don't drink or abuse substances or anything but I, I think that it's generally that in their life they tend to exercise temperance in multiple areas okay we also have the four of pentacles the five of pentacles and the knave of cups 
oh my gosh okay you guys could have a secret kind of romance i don't know why but when i saw this card i was thinking because these two figures are sort of in this corner maybe that at first you might keep your relationship on the down low try to hide it from people you know or at work right but it seems really relaxed. I think actually a lot, you guys will love spending downtime together, doing relaxing activities, maybe doing a sport together. There's, there might be a sport that you guys really like that you find relaxing <laughs> though, you know, like swimming or tennis, something that's not too active, but that you know, relaxes you guys. I could also see you guys going for massages together. Maybe this person actually likes to massage you. <laughs> I just see you guys really enjoying each other's company, though, and genuinely loving just spending time with one another. Even if you're doing stupid things or it's not, you know, you're not doing anything at all, <laughs> it could still be a lot of fun for you guys. I think you have a way though of making simple things very exciting or funny and interesting when you're together. In terms of the bedroom, I think this person, again, they have a very direct and honest approach, especially when it comes to you. I think though that it, if it also feels like they, they can be honest with you, maybe we're um, in a way that they can't really be with everyone but yeah I, I do see you guys having a lot of deep intimate moments and also I think this person will be very vocal so if they love you they will tell you I love you or you look very beautiful you know it's it's dead honest sometimes to the point of being a bit dry but I don't know I think you'll really like it though because this person they're very connected to their heart and they know what they want so they won't have a problem telling you that and again in the bedroom i think they will they will like you taking charge just as equally as they like taking charge again that sense of balance is very prominent for them i think in all areas they like having a partner who can challenge them but also they want to be that the person in charge too okay so again you guys will sort of be feeding off each other's energy and kind of playing around i think this person they're not too serious they have a more playful side to love making they can actually be pretty funny too <laughs> but yeah they don't like to take things too seriously even though at times they don't mind going there especially emotionally or intimately, they still like to keep things simple and light. Okay, so let's get you guys a few last cards. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, that totally makes sense with this person. The thing is, that's just their love natures. They can't help but say how they feel and want to make sure that you also feel the same way. <laughs> and you'll have a lot of important conversations, I think, especially before you enter into a relationship, I think. Okay, so we also have children. Okay, you guys might end up having children. <laughs> we also have it is safe for you to love as well as finances and career. So yeah, the career definitely seems to be something that's important or that will bring you two together initially. It could also be children. You might meet actually through children in a way, like maybe they have a child or both of you really like children. <laughs> um, and then it's safe for you to love. Yeah, so this person will have a way of gaining your trust getting you to open up to them and um, I think respect is a big part of that as well because knowing that someone really respects you you can then not care about being criticized or 
them taking advantage of you or any of those things being opened up, right? Because there's this safety and sense of security, which will definitely be a strong suit of this relationship that you'll find. But overall, this looks to be very healthy and right in line with, I think, how this relationship will progress, okay? So I want to roll the top three signs that this person could be. Pile three. Okay, so we have Cancer. We also have Pisces. So yeah, strong water. <laughs> and we also have Aries. Okay, so they could be any one of those signs or have those prominently. Now for the relationship. Ooh, yes. Okay, so we have Jupiter, Gemini, and 7th house. Yeah, the 7th house, it's the house of relationships. Also, the theme with the 7th house is the other, so seeing other people's points of views coming together. You guys might be from very different backgrounds or have very different skill sets, but when you come together, you bridge that gap and you create something beautiful. You're able to really play to each other's strengths. And then Jupiter is the planet of expansion, learning, and growth. So I think it's very likely that you guys will learn a lot <laughs> through this relationship, not just about each other, but life in general. I think you guys have similar goals. You're both very ambitious, and I think also when you come together, you're more likely to accomplish great things and really help one another succeed, lift each other up. Um, and that's what's beautiful too, is that you both could be in the same profession, you could be going out for the same job, but you help each other and you're both very genuinely happy to do so and happy to see the other succeed, which I think is another big part of why this relationship just works, is because you genuinely care about each other's dreams and goals and helping one another progress in life. And then lastly, Gemini. So yeah, Gemini is that dynamic energy we were talking about. Gemini is never boring, <laughs> um, especially in a relationship reading. Communication is very important. So I think that the way that this relationship will be set out will be built on very honest communication you guys being on the same page, not being afraid of, you know, being honest or asking for clarity, and just very simple and lighthearted. I think this person will be very playful and fun. And I think also the relationship will sort of inspire you to think outside of your comfort zone. So I will leave this pile here for now. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys later. Hey, Pile 4, welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the Sapphire. Ooh, this is such a beautiful stone. Let's see who will find you this coming year. <laughs> okay, starting off with your tarot, we have the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, Wow, the world, as well as judgment. Okay, so you guys got some very big energies in this spread. So I just want to say, this could actually be a very big year for you. You could be transitioning or going 
broad you could um, be entering into a completely different phase of your life because we have the world and judgment which are the final cards in the major arcana part of the tarot we also have the chariot i see that as this person they are very active i want to say they leave they lead an active lifestyle so maybe they do sports they could be traveling. They could always be on the move, actually, or on the go. They could have a kid. Or maybe it's their family, but they have something that is very consuming or time-consuming in their life that they spend a lot of time and energy <laughs> with. And then this Four of Wands. Okay, so this could be how you guys meet. So the Four of Wands... Um, I don't know if you can see this card up close, but it looks sort of like these people playing on the beach. So you could actually meet this person at the beach or maybe on vacation. I actually see you guys um, meeting in a very relaxed environment. So yeah, the beach could be a big one. Or maybe when you're um, on vacation or in a relaxed mode. I, I feel like it will be during a part of the year where you're looking forward to something or you're sort of just in the moment. You're not really focused on the things that you have to do or, you know, you're in vacation mode, even if you're not literally. But either way, I, I really see you guys meeting in fun circumstances. You could also meet them at a party. I think there is something significant though about the way that you meet them because that seems to be just a major impression that you have of them and also vice versa. I think also they'll be very taken with you. I think they'll be very attracted to you physically. <laughs> um, but again, this person, they'll approach you. I think actually they have a lot of confidence and maybe experience with doing that with approaching people because I think that is definitely with the chariot how they come off is they go after what they want they're very fast and they just go for it I think <laughs> you know sometimes it doesn't always work out but I think in this case there's something about this person just landing it or there being just such a good timing and moment for their way of doing things. Maybe it's just their style or their sense of humor, too. It's pretty witty. And yeah, we also have the Ace of Wands. So this is just a very exciting time for you, I think, when this person will come in. This could honestly be around the summer or any time of the year that you look forward to. So maybe you have a birthday or a celebration coming up. But I think this person will definitely bring... A fair share of excitement into your life. You know what's kind of funny though too is that <laughs> maybe it's just that you guys, your paths align at this time because you're both moving or yeah it could be that you're both interested in traveling to the same country or the same part of a country or even interested in starting a similar interest and then you guys end up doing it together. That could also be what happens too because with this ace of wands this is all about new beginnings so i see you guys entering into a new beginning actually with this person so a new chapter of your life a new pursuit or goal that you have and again because this person is so fast-paced i think that when you are together or when you finally get into a relationship um it will take on that same tone or theme, right? And you might find yourself sort of always on the move with this person or not really settling down in one location. You could be always traveling or, you know, learning new things. You could be learning a new language with this person. I see, I think both of you guys though are equally as adventurous. So that will suit you both very well. You like taking risks or at least kind of figuring things out as you go. Maybe not necessarily following a map <laughs> and just seeing where you end up. 
So let's take a look at these oracle cards. We have just for a moment joy as well as sacred convergence. Ooh, this is exciting, especially this joy card. Yeah, so I don't know what it is about this person or this pile, but there's just so much excitement. When I look at these cards, right, it's this bigger than life energy. It is very consuming. I think this um, a relationship with this person would be an all or nothing kind of thing. But would it be worth it? <laughs> Probably, though. This person is very fun. They liven you up. They bring a lot of adventure into your life. A lot of new experiences. I think many of the dates that you go on or times that you spend together will be actually going to new places or trying new things. So it will never be boring. <laughs> It can be a bit overwhelming, I think, also at times with this person, but that could also just be their personality, too. They encourage you to be in the moment, of course. And the Sacred Convergence card, this could be um, your lives converging together. So I think, you guys, there is a reason for your paths matching up, especially at this time in your lives, depending on what your pursuits are. Maybe you're changing your pursuits. Maybe you're changing your direction and that could have something to do with this. Again, with judgment, that represents kind of the, well, that and the world actually represent the bigger picture unfolding. So it could be that you guys want different things, but your path is the same. The image that actually keeps coming to mind is the Wizard of Oz, right? And you know how the characters, they're very lively and jolly. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement and dancing in that movie, but the premise is they're trying to get to the city and they both want different things, but they're on the same path together to get it. So that could actually be a major... <laughs> theme that you find in the, this relationship is that you guys are sort of, you're always on the move, you're always on that road, and you have the same destination in mind. Maybe it's that you guys both eventually want to settle down, <laughs> or find a place to live, or, um, I don't know, start a family, but it's always more so about the journey as opposed to that final destination. It's about who you meet along the way, the experiences, and really just living in that moment together, which is very beautiful. Okay, so let's get you guys some love messages. Pile four. But I'm just so excited for you. I think this is exactly, this is a once in a lifetime kind of relationship. And you know, I, I think you're ready for it though, Pile 4, especially seeing all of these cards that we have. Um, this is bigger energy, <laughs> bigger than life, but it has a lot of potential though, I think, and especially if this person, you know, can help you along your path and vice versa, you guys will find so much fulfillment and joy. Ooh, okay, so we have Twin Flames, Your Passion Ignites, and we also have, okay, Close Your Eyes and Tell Yourself That You Deserve to Feel Joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So again, this word joy s keeps coming up in your guys' reading. That seems to be the major flavor <laughs> that this relationship will take on. It could be that the reason you guys are destined to come together is to experience joy, honestly. And this could be a dramatic shift from where you've been maybe in the past, especially if you've experienced some darker periods in your life. This person could be that return to joy phase, or they could mark a beginning into that new chapter, 
But either way, I think this person has a way of facilitating or helping to facilitate and encourage big change in your life, especially change that feels empowering and that encourages you to be courageous, I think. That's the beauty of this relationship. Okay, so let's take a look and see if we can find some physical characteristics for you. Pile form. Ooh, we have long nails. Actually, let me give this a good shuffle. Some of these just came out. <laughs> Pile form. What does your person look like? Let's get a few. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have glasses as well as coarse hair. That's actually really funny. Maybe your person has some specific favorite pair of glasses that you find themselves in. Or again, if you meet them on vacation, they could be wearing some very striking glasses that are noticeable the thing is this person they're daring the way that they live their life is in they don't care what they look like so that kind of gives them more freedom i think and that gives also you the permission to liberate yourself as well from societal standards and that will definitely play out in this relationship okay so let's see what your love <laughs> relationship will be like. What will it be in the bedroom? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Yep. <laughs> That's definitely the vibe, I think. Because both of you guys, you have so much passion in life already as it is. Or just when you come together, things light up and there's a lot of excitement, a lot of fireworks. So in the bedroom, I'd imagine it to be the same way, right? This fire, there being a lot of chemistry though too, because again, they're going to find you very physically hot, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and... The Knight of Pentacles. I think also the way that they'll go about dating you or courting you is more traditional. This person really appreciates doing nice things and going about things in a traditional way. And even if that means taking things a bit slower, taking your time, that is part of the magic here. And that that's kind of the way that this person likes to go. They like doing things properly. Um, if they're going to do anything at all, they want to do it <laughs> to their best ability. Even relationships, even, you know, they have a sense of dignity here and they want the best. So obviously they'll want the best for you. I could see this person loving to buy you expensive gifts, really just to see your reaction especially things that are kind of outlandish <laughs> or, um, I don't know, this person, they'll like doing pranks, they'll like jokes, right? So don't be surprised if that also comes up <laughs> in their love style, but they really like worshiping you and treasuring, or no, showering you with gifts. You are their queen or their king. <laughs> I think this person, though they are generous in general, but specifically with you, they just can't help it. I think they have a problem where they they will spend a lot on you or they just love treating you well, giving you royal treatment. And they're also fascinated, I think, by just the little things that you do. Your interests, they're very interested in the things that you like, actually. Anything that you like or love, they will automatically love and be taken with. But yeah, the, I honestly do see this person falling in love with you or just falling very deeply. So yeah, be prepared. <laughs> um, 
for there to be some very intense, you know, physical but also emotional instances. <laughs> and also a lot of respect though too in the bedroom, I think. Okay, so let's pull you guys a few more cards. Pile four. This is the Romance Angel Oracle deck. Okay, we have heart to heart conversations. Okay, so yeah, communication. This has been coming out a lot actually though. Um, but it is important, I think, you guys will definitely, especially in a relationship like this where there's just a lot happening and you guys are very drawn to each other, especially right off the bat, I think there will be an instant spark and connection there. It is important to check in though from time to time to see what you're feeling, <laughs> where is this going, right? Ooh, we also have flirt. Yeah, okay, so that is definitely something that <laughs> this person will be doing a lot of. But also the relationship. You guys, you like being very playful with one another. Especially when it comes to the banter, you know? I think be very flirty and fun. Okay, so we have healing family issues as well as religious factors. This is interesting. So there could be some karma that you guys also have or are meant to help sort out. I think that this person will help you with other relationships in your life just because of how great they are and how much they care about you. They love people who you love. So, you know, if they sense any kind of difficulties or issues there, they probably will, you know, be interested in stepping in or helping you get to the bottom of the situation. So that's also another thing that you'll really love about this person is that they really do care about you. They want to help you solve any issues, especially deep emotional ones too. And then religious factors it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I actually think that you guys are the more spiritual partner and maybe your upbringing, especially if it was religious, may influence sort of the path or even the beginning of this relationship. But I think the message with both of these cards though is to be okay with this person helping you release fears or doubts or even you know beliefs that have limited you in the past because this person themselves or just the energy that they're bringing into this life this relationship is very liberating and freeing and so there could be some tension there initially or in the beginning stages but i think over time you'll be able to ease into it okay So, the last thing I want to do is see what sign or signs that this person could be. I will take the top three. Pile four. Okay, so we have Leo. Aquarius. And we also have Virgo. So your person could be one of those three signs or have those prominently in their chart. Now for the relationship. Ooh, okay, so we have sixth house, Gemini, and Mercury. Yeah, so Mercury rules Gemini. Communication is a big theme here. Um, Gemini is, is very dynamic. It's one of those signs that is always moving, um, it rules short distance travel, and it's ever changing, it's in flux. So I think this relationship it will have that dynamic of being 
very changeable, flexible. You guys may be changing your plans or your minds a lot. <laughs> Not in a bad way though, you know, I think this allows your relationship a certain level of freedom though and even mobility. You guys moving from place to place or, you know, constantly being in motion, right? Which makes things exciting and fresh and very new. And then the sixth house, this is the house actually of the everyday. So I think you'll have something to learn from this person every day. It's, that's the thing. It's going to be something different. It's never going to be boring or the same or feel routine. Okay. So yeah, very exciting though. Joy, excitement. Those are the key words to keep in mind with this person. So I will leave this pile here for now. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome. And I will see you guys later.